Mexico City looked like a sea of orange today. That's because the Oregon State Beavers football team was in town. The team played their third and final non-conference game at the seas of the season at Providence Park. Now there is where we find Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom, who caught up with some excited fans. It's been more than 30 years since fans have gotten the opportunity to see the Beavers play here in Portland. One, two, three. Go! A great day. This is such a great day. So excited, Beavers. Go, Beavers. <laughs> Thousands of fans are tailgating and getting ready to attend what used to be a tradition. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah. 32 years it's been since the team has made the trek up the I 5 to play at what is now Providence Park. Now I even feel better about this. Yeah, Beavers in Portland, man, taking over Portland. Go, Beavers! <laughs> And naturally, of course, fans super excited, but just like the fans, so are the food trucks excited to be here today. We gotta stay a little bit neutral. We love the ducks, we love the beeves, but since I'm here right now, go bees! let's go beeves! With tons of fans around ready to munch before game time, there's a lot of hungry mouths to feed. In other words, business is booming. Paul, please, your order's ready, Paul. We love being in the community of Portland. It's a big vibe down here right now. A vibe some fans are hoping will guide their home team to a win. You know, total domination. <laughs> Jeffrey Lindblom, Fox 12, Oregon. Well, all the cheering from fans must have helped. Oregon State went on to dominate the game from start to finish. Fox 12's Nip Kwepke has a full breakdown and reaction on the win against Montana State. Well, here's something you don't see every day, at least not in modern times. Football on the marquee here in Soccer City. The Beavs back in the Rose City playing football for the first time since 1986. <laughs> Saws and Nas, Betty and Joey. No TIFO, no Army, but tubas and band uniforms. The Beavs were right at home in the house of the Timbers and Thorns from the historic stadium in Goose Hollow. A sellout crowd clad in orange and black packed the park for 25,218. That's just shy of how many can fit now at Research Stadium during the raising of the West Side, which will be completed in 2023. 2022 has been very good so far to OSU. A home win against Boise State, the thriller a week ago on the goal line in Fresno. The home team with one final non-conference tune-up against FCS Montana State out of the big sky. Deshaun Fenwick slapped the Beavers' tail out in front with a 25-yard opening rush for score. Seven-play, 90-yard march. You get the idea. Then Chance Nolan did his thing in the quarter with three touchdown tosses while running in another in that second. First to Trey Sean Harrison from six. Then Silas Bolden from 24. Oh, and she began to build a little distance from the Bozeman boys. The Beavs' strong suit is defense, coordinated by proud alum Trent Bray. His men revved up that turnover chainsaw with two first half interceptions. The second set up another scoring connection. Nolan to the West Salem High alum, Anthony Gould. 34, 14 Beavs at half. Much of the same in the second. Gould, a gold medalist in track with the Titans. Hammer those feet, kid. An 80-yard punt return for the good guys from the Mid-Valley. O-State wins its first ever meeting against M-State, and the Beavers now 3-0 for the first time since 2014. It was something completely different here in the atmosphere catered for the pageantry of college football. Hail to old OSU and old Civic Stadium. The Beavers' 81st game here all time. The first arrived way back in 1908. It's big time, Mom. Like I said, our emphasis isn't we're not worried about 3-0, we're not worried about anything in the future. It's a process-oriented team. You know, we're working on that day-in and day-out basis. How much better can we get every single day? Oh, it was fun. I mean, it's even better when you get to enjoy it with your team, though. You know, getting a team win, a, a, a quality team win, uh, you know, it, it's fun to go out there and be able to do that with everyone. I thought Beaver Nation really showed out and brought the energy tonight. I mean, it was loud in there, and it was, um, yeah, I mean, it was an awesome experience to just play in this facility. I've never been here before myself, and so just to be out there playing, it was, it was awesome. Next up for these 3-0 Beavers, back home-home at Reeser with USC, their final trip to Corvallis as a Pac-12 team for that big move for those big bucks to the Big Ten. When will we see the Bees back here in Portland? Pains to be seen. The $153 million renovation to Reeser probably keep them there for many years to come. At Providence Park, the Cupkey, Box of Oregon.